Hey everyone, this is Nitro. I'm gonna work my way through the SS level trials now, and let's jump into SS trial 1. So, failure damage decreased by half when they're above 50% hit points. Hmm. This is slightly annoying. Because of all those lancers, right? What if I do this? I'm going to try an all AoE attack team. Let's see how it works out. Hmm. Actually, why don't I do this? This is going to be a little bit interesting because I haven't used Tierras's magic def mass resist yet. So here we go. So what I'm going to do is mass resist up to give 30% defense to everyone. And then have Sophia strengthen Lena. So that they're all basically effectively intelligence buffed. Right. And then... Let's start with Lana AoE. Let's have Bozel. Earthquake here. And I'm going to Since that last hit was fixed damage, it wipes them out. It's not considered magic damage. A miracle up. And have Sophia rewind up. Now I should have brought Black Hole on Lana and I forgot to, so she actually can't attack. So that does put a bit of a damper on me. I'm missing an AoE strike. Nonetheless... Let's and see how it works out. pretty well. There we go. Tried something new and it succeeded quite well overall. Especially since my Tierras has recently just got her mage class unlocked, right? She is not complete yet. She doesn't have her class mastery just yet in 
Unicorn Master, but at the very least, she now has access to all of her skills, especially Mass Resist, which will help a lot. So, just wanted to highlight that because I just recently upgraded her like this. All right, SS Trial 2. When battling against cavalry and flyers, all stats increase by 50%. That's for the enemy. So I'm going to have Leon attack twice as usual, right? Um, let's combo that with Leanna, of course. Or I could have Leon on the other side to kill off the Cuttlefish and the Archer. That would work. And then on this side, can be Ledin, can be Tieris, right? And Ledin, I'm actually going to have him bring Burning Sun. And it can also be Sophia. And that should be it. Alright, looks good. So I guess I'll also bring Regenerate just because of I don't need the strengthen for this fight. And here we go. Hey. So Leon Jim is going to come up, chivalry attack and retreat. So He didn't kill the cuttlefish. Hmm. That's fine. As long as I can get rid of the archer, I'm okay. Alright. Let him burning sun to take out the big skeleton. Or not. Wow. Surprising. Leaden guards Tieris. And the two demon characters. We'll see who they go after. But it should be Leaden. And maybe Leon for the Undead Knight. Yep. Wow! Leon actually died. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Interesting. And very not good. Start then with yes. Ledin running across from Divine Garden. Going to have to have Liana range attack here. I'm going to have to Miracle up. And I guess Sophia is just going to hide in a corner. Oh, 
Unfortunately, Lena is tough enough to tank that. Yes. Hey. So. So da. Mada, wara da yo. Gomeire yo. This was very much a win based on how strong my Liana is. Oh jeez. And actually, I could have cha I think I could have changed the Undead Knight's targeting. Um, if Tieris had Sorceress Soldiers instead, the Undead Knight should have targeted Tieris. So that would have solved the issue as well. Right? Because right now, they both had Holy Soldiers and were Mages. So the Undead Knight chose to target the closest target. But if Tieris didn't have any holy units at all, such as Sorceresses or Bolt Rangers, then she would have become the target of the Undead Knight. And that would have changed things up. In any case, yeah, a clear is a clear. And I'll move on to the third trial. Another solution, rather than having, uh, rather than having Sophia for that map, it would have been bringing Iris, who could have used Le Jardin the Iris to teleport Leden elsewhere to fight, would have worked too. So there were options, I think. Okay, this map. I'm going to just bring Landius. At this point, I think I'm just going to start using more efficient parties to save time. So I don't need Lenin, and I can choose to bring Bozal this way. So Landius's counterattack should hopefully deal with all these enemies. That is the plan, anyways. And let's begin. Hey. ユダスルだ。俺に力を貸してくれ。ご命令を。はい。そ、そうだ。はい。ご命令を。そ、そうだ。はい。これはあまり使いたくないですよね。This will work pretty well. Huh? Probably should have mass resisted there first. Little mistakes. As usual. Ripped up the end quite a bit. Mendius with the double heal is just crushing it. Hey, 
戦いはまだ終わっていない油断するな何をしてるのか分かっているのかはいえもう私の番はいはいはいはいあれ気づかないうちにごめんなさいねここれは、あなたたちは、Let's just remove that mass resist for now and bring black attack blessing. And here we go. Then 
I can rewind that one here. So Leon was chivalry. And with the, the teddy bear effect, he still actually has attack blessing. So, so just reactivate attack blessing. Okay, assault the holy general. I now have 80% damage reduction, but attack blessing provides like a 30% increase, so it's I'm doing half damage with Leon. Right now. But it should be enough, especially when I have the RS Miracle, so that's now 65% damage. And each tile you move, you get another 4% increase due to his talent, right? So I'm moving 4 tiles to attack. This should be enough damage to take out the scatterpoint. It wasn't. But that's okay, because Landius can easily finish it off at this point. So there we go. And then we're on the SS Ultimate Trial, where after taking action, we receive a 30% chance to gain mobility plus 2 for 1 turn. It's this one. The enemies are not... The enemies don't move, but the problem is the time law. Right? That adds, a, that adds a huge luck element to this, so it might be better to just assault rather than hold back, right? So let's see. So I'm going to use my whole Listel Bozo, my Dark Party. I have Bozel. Leon can kill off two characters right on turn one, I'm pretty sure. Right? He should be able to one-shot Bernhard, get act again from Liana, and then take out Bozel. Gets rid of those two. If 
proposal uses sleep on Alte Muller, I could attack Lena. Yeah, this time lock changes things up a lot because that for sure at least one or two enemies will get that mobility buff. Mm, you know what? Let's just try anyways. Let's try the more traditional method of the whole Sophia strategy. So Leon, Liana, Lester, and Lena. Let's just try this anyways and see if it'll work out or not. So Sophia will have to bring the strength in to buff up Lena. And here we go. Yes! Alright. So Strengthen Lena. Launch a two range free strike on Optimola. Which actually isn't enough to kill. Wow. Is that Leon just jumping then? Or not? Oh man. Hey. Let's act again. Lana then? To make sure. Ultimiller dies. Hey. So one enemy got mobility buff, which was Bozo. That's fine. Going to have Leon shivalry up here. And let's attack Varna. Assault. And retreat. Going to rewind everyone here. Right away. So that Liana can act again. Leon. I need to make sure I'm outside of Bozo's range. Or sorry, outside Bernhardt's range. Bozo so, gets the black hole, my two healers, but they don't die, and that's all I personally care about. So, Lester can now chain hook. And that allows Leon to chivalry up. And attack Bozo. Hey. Hmm? I guess I'm going to have to have 
sanction here. To make sure Bozo dies. Good enough. And then we will strengthen Lana. Just burn hard left to kill. So let's start with Lana's Dark Reaper. And that was actually enough to one shot. So there we go. And I get a drop near. Uh, I'll hold on to it, but it really is <laughs> 100 ore to me. Because I really don't need one. Uh, I already have one at level 50. Don't think I need a second one. And if anything, I want to build up these Eye of the Beholders first, rather than the second drop near. Nonetheless, you know, I can hold on to it and decide what to do with it later. It's not like I need the ore right away now. So there we go. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, I hope you found this video useful, and on that note, Nitro out.